Hello and welcome to the video. In this quick topic video I'll be running through a good method for splitting your brew over two separate days. By doing so you are only engaged for around half the time each day and this can certainly provide a convenience for very busy people. I should mention that I probably only do this for about 10% of my brews but it is a solid method that has never caused me any issues so as such I am happy and confident to recommend it. The shape of this method is as follows. On day one I start by mashing in and then mashing out. It is totally vital to mash out when working this method. If you do not do this then you will end up with a dry beer because you simply would not have stopped the enzymes in your mash. Having said this, if this sounds good to you then go ahead. I then sparge and then power off the brewing system and cover it so that nothing can get in. Because of this your sparge water does not need to be heated. On this basis I am happy to restart the brew within 10 to 12 hours. On day two you will boil, cool and then transfer. So to actually work this method properly you will need to be mashing and sparging in the evening and boiling and then chilling the next morning. If you know that the gap between these two brewing sessions is going to be longer than 10 to 12 hours then I suggest giving the water a short boil for say 5 to 10 minutes to protect it at the end of day one. Add the water into a container with very little headspace and add a cap. Plastic containers suited to no chill brewing are ideal. Just make sure they are suitable for boiling temps and are food safe. HDPE plastic, for example, is ideal. As a final note, you may have heard of people mashing overnight. Personally, I would never recommend this on the basis that it will cause a great deal of wear on the pump of your brewing system. The pump is also simply the weakest link, so as such it is something to handle with care. An overnight mash is going to increase its wear by at least 600%. This overnight method also puts a highly increased amount of wear on the heating elements plus your electricity consumption during brewing will go up rapidly also. For further discussion of topics like this one or brewing in general check out this YouTube channel's Facebook group via the link shown on screen now so that you can apply to join. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate then please like this video on YouTube and if you've not done so already then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!